Oh, hey, it's Rob, and I am out in Mom's garage today. I'm a visiting mom for the 4th of July weekend, and I have a number of projects to do. Um, uh, first of all is to uh, make sure that the riding lawnmower runs, uh, which I, that should be fine. And last time I was up here, I had it running pretty well, so I think that's okay. Uh, then underneath here, if you see, there's sort of an orange thing. That is a wood chipper, and that hasn't been run in several years, so that's another thing to try and get running. Uh, there's a chainsaw right down there that needs to get running, and a that's again one that hasn't been run for many years and um, I think that's a two cycle so I'll have to find out about that. I might end up taking that one home to get it running but uh, the big one though yes the four-wheeler this is a 1983 I think Honda and uh, last time I was up here, tried to get it running, tried to get it started, and there is either no gas or no spark. And the last time I was here, I didn't bring tools with me to uh, try and fix things because I wasn't planning on doing a lot of fixing last time. Uh, of course, you know, mom had other ideas. So I'm going to try and get this running uh, this trip, and that's that's going to take some time. So. Uh, I figured, you know, hey, since I'm doing stuff, I'll uh, bring you guys along and hopefully give you some entertainment or laughter or something. <sighs> I love my mom. Uh, the first thing to do is going to be taking all of the stuff off of this, uh, everything off of the uh, lawnmower. I'm going to leave that until after I get other things going because that is going to involve a lot more taking off stuff and putting it somewhere where there really is no space to put things. So hopefully I can get that done. I'm going to try and do it today uh, because there are a list of other things to do as well. But uh, you know, I guess we'll see how it goes. All right, looks like we are good to go here. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing with this, but I guess we'll find out as we go. I was able to download a manual online, so I have some inkling of how to get in here, but there's a lot more to it than what I had before. Uh, so I need to get to the spark plug for one, and I may have to go look up how to do that, but I also need to get this top fairing, I believe, off in order to gain access to the engine. Now there are bolts here, and I believe there are some hold down screws here, one there for sure. There's a basket on the front that I am not enthused about because I think that's going to keep it from coming off. So I'm hoping that I don't need to do that entirely. All right, I am going to go get another tool. I gotta get my socket wrench. And as you might guess, these are 10 millimeter. It's a mechanic joke for anybody who, uh, who wants. Oh boy. Okay. Oh yeah. Just about perfect. You can come out of there. You can come out of there. You can. I know you can. 
These are the shiny ones for my own edification. Okay. That seems to not, oh. Ow. Okay, so I'm taking the air cleaner box out, uh, among a few other things that will help me get this more completely empty of all the crud that I found last time. Uh, deep socket again. Looks like I don't need to take the box out completely to get to the spark plug. And this does give me access to the carburetor. All right, I'm going to try and pull the spark plug. Now, the spark plug wire in here looks like it's a little bit hokey, but we'll see what happens. Now, I've got a couple different size spark plug wrenches, or spark plug sockets. Uh, See if I can get one on there. This is a 13 sixteenths. And there is not a lot of room. All right, let's see if this will do it. All right, let's try that again. Uh, well, it turns out that the spark plug is a different size than the sockets that I had, so I had to go get some new spark plug sockets, and I think the three-quarter inch one is the one that we want. So, did that do anything? Yes, it did. Look at that. I got the spark plug out. There was no spark on the spark plug, which leads me to a couple of things. One is maybe I should go get a new spark plug. The other is that the magneto might be not doing well. Third is that the battery might not have sufficient power to crank it or to uh, spark it. And I'm going to take a little break from the 4x4 right now and see if I can get the chainsaw running. Carburetor cleaner. I just pulled spark plug out of the uh, uh, chainsaw, and that actually looks really clean. So I don't think I'm going to need to replace that one at all. But I think I'm going to go get one for the four-wheeler, because I'm a little, little leery of that one. I uh, figure it can't hurt, to, uh, can't hurt to get a new one. I am not going to put very much fuel in here because this is a 16 to 1 mix. And they don't make that. Interesting. Yeah, I'd have to get some more. Uh... Oh, there's fuel in there. A little bit anyway. Choke. <sighs> That is not looking good. Hmm. 
All right. Well, let's give up on that for now. I took the throttle bladder cover off. Uh, needed to do some cleaning of the carburetor and cleaning of the whole throttle system. It was pretty gummy, and I suspect that it's going to need more. But we're going to give it a shot. Key is on. And it doesn't idle, but it starts and it runs. So new spark plug, that certainly helped. Uh, some cleaning of the carburetor helped. I think I probably am going to need to do more, but it works. It actually works. That's pretty cool. That is the sound of an idling engine. It's still idling a little bit rough, but uh, I think it's working. I think I might have actually pulled this one off.
So a quick update on sort of the, the ending of the saga. Uh, the transmission is having a little bit of problems, as you saw, uh, shifting into neutral. And you have to have it in neutral to be able to start it. So the, the clutch is sticky, the transmission is sticky. Those are things that I couldn't address uh, with the tools that I had in the space and the time that I had available. Uh, so, you know, I, I told mom about it. She was going to have it taken into a shop and have the shop do it. But instead, uh, she decided to sell it to a guy who has been helping her out. Uh, she's been helping him out too. He doesn't have a lot of money, uh, but he has a friend that can do all the work and fix it up for him. And it's got a snow plow attachment, so he will be able to plow his own driveway and um, plow out a place for his chihuahuas to run in the winter. And, you know, it's a really good choice. It's a really good thing to be able to recognize him for the work that he's done and I think that's really cool I mean I, I liked having the chance to run around on it but I can't have it here I don't have the room you know I can't really license it for the street here and he can use it he will use it and he will have fun using it so yeah I think that's a pretty good outcome all the way around. I got it running. It took some time, and uh, I didn't get it running well, but I knew what was wrong with it at that point and how to fix it. And, you know, I consider that a pretty big win. All right. See you guys.